there, I'm Josie Quick, and today I'm going to show you some ideas for taking a tune and turning it into a fiddle break. So you're at a bluegrass jam, and you're playing a tune, and the leader looks at you and says, gives you the nod, do you want to take a break? What do you do? Well, I'm going to give you a few different approaches that you can try. I'm going to start with a simple tune called Tom Dooley. I recommend that you try learning this by ear. The sheet music is readily available, but try learning it by ear because that will free up your mind for adding embellishments, turning it into a fiddle solo. I'm using the Kingston Trio version, which has five bars for the second phrase. There's an extra measure. It's kind of hard to catch that when you're in a jam session. So I'm putting it in there so that you get used to it. If the jam session you're at chooses not to use that extra bar, it'll be easy to pick up. Let's play it and see if you can figure out Two, three, the melody. Four. So take a minute and practice that a little bit. You don't have to get it exact. You can get a close approximation because we're going to be messing around with it anyway, right? One thing that you can do with this tune is you can take the use the melody as a basic structure and then use the G pentatonic scale to add stuff, add notes in between the notes. So this tune is already built on a G pentatonic scale. They're using it starting from a D, but it's all the same notes. So a G pentatonic scale is G, A, B, D, and E. With this song, it starts on the D, so your D, E, G, A, B, almost exactly the scale. So you can just use the G pentatonic scale throughout. I would recommend you try to land on the chord tones. So you can hear this tune is just the G chord and the D chord. There's just two chords, which makes it simple. So let's try that just playing the G pentatonic scale, and I'll show you what it sounds like. I'll do it once, and then I'll give you a chance to do it a couple of times before we move on. So I'm just gonna noodle. Two, three, four. <laughs> really comfortable with your G pentatonic scale and you're ready for a challenge, you can go back and forth between the G and the D pentatonic scale, depending on which chord you're on. So the D pentatonic scale, if you use one octave, has the same P 
pattern as the G. So you've got open, one, two, open, one, and three. And if you're on the D string, it's the same thing. Open, one, two, open, one, and three. So, for starters, I would recommend you just go back and forth between those two scales. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to play through the chord progression once, and I'm going to play the scales and switch when it, the chord changes. I'm going to go ahead and start on the root each time the new chord comes along, but you don't have to. If you find yourself on a scale tone of the other scale or close to it, you can just switch right from there. And then I'm going to let it go twice so that you get a chance to give it a try. There is a backing track at the end as well, so you'll have a chance to try it a little bit more on your own. Two, Ready? Three, G. Four. can go as fast or as slow as you want, fast or slow as your brain will keep up with those chords. So here's an example of what that sounds like if I combine the two scales. I'm going to try to land on a chord tone, so when it goes to the D chord, I'm going to try to make the first note of the measure either a D or an A, but one safety net that you have is you are always only one note off from a good note. So if you play something that you don't like, go up or down one step and you're going to land on a good note. So I'm going to play it once and then I'm going to give it two times for you to try it on your own. Three. example of me playing the melody but filling in with the two different scales. Two. see that it's really helpful to have a good understanding of when the chords change. If you miss it, it just throws you off. It just throws off your game. 